we have a problem and this is the problem something weird is happening to these tomato fruit this or these are the bushes the tomato bushes I've got about six of these bushes here and the variety that we planted is called ox hot and they've been doing well for quite some time until I think about yesterday or so where we started um, noticing that some of uh, the fruits are turning out like this I do not know what this is um, and if you do know uh, please uh, leave a comment below um, but maybe let me just give you a, a picture of what has happened in the last couple of days on these bushes so firstly we haven't seen bees around for the longest time and as a result we ended up pollinating these flowers by hand so pretty much we've touched every bit of a flower um, using a toothbrush the the vibrating toothbrushes so that's what we've done and i guess that's what saved us um, otherwise we would have not have had not a single fruit coming out if we didn't do that so that's one challenge that we've had with this and of course i mean if you look at the raised bed so this is a makeshift really um somebody was throwing was throwing this away and i said you know what instead of it going into a landfill you know give it to me um i'll do something with it and i made this box so this box um it's not really ideal uh, it's too deep um, and I don't have enough soil to fill it but nonetheless it has produced good good vegetables in the last uh, couple of months that we've had it um, so the second problem that I have other than these tomatoes that are dying here um, the second problem is some kind of infection that I suspect we have here one if you look at the coloration of the leaves most of these leaves in fact not most you know but quite a few especially right here at the bottom you would see they are very yellow they are turning very yellowy and this fruit is far from being ready way way far so that's problem number two thirdly we've got this thing that i've noticed i don't know what it is um but it is something that i'm picking up on the leaves um, that almost all the leaves have it's more like a fungi growing um, because it seems like I can wipe it off um, from all these leaves um, but it seems to have engulfed all the leaves um, in the last few days what I've done when it started I would take off all those leaves and just drop them and yeah but that didn't seem to have helped but nonetheless I mean if you look at these fruits um, they are magnificent they are awesome they are ginormous and I'm looking forward to having them um, and yeah we hope that by the time we harvest um, at least half of them would still be alive if they all die well they all die you know um, but one thing we're not going to do is to use pesticides um, and you can see here we've got some of them that have actually um, started getting a little bit bigger you know um, to a point where we think they're ready but here you would notice as well this guy now has you know has a small scar here and that's something i've just noticed today i don't know what the cause um, but if you know of any natural remedies um, that we can consider in dealing with this or if you know what the cause is please leave comment below but yeah I mean we do anticipate during our planting that we would lose some plants and some will um, will survive but you know um, it's part of the game we do what we do because we love what we do um, and of course we are absolutely not going to be using any chemicals in our garden 
And so what we gonna do with these folks, we just take everything, you know, nothing goes to waste here. We're gonna take these guys and we're gonna dump them here, boom, in this giant um, compost that we're making. I'll be making a separate video just to take you guys through what we are doing. But there, as you can see, we've got two humongous piles. Um, there is leaves. Uh, we've got a whole lot of other materials, um, but we'll get into that when we get to it.